Give all your plans to God. Commit all your plans, all your future plans onto God. Because if you commit everything onto him and you trust him, he will help you get to where you want to be. But if you commit everything you do onto the Lord, then they have to align with his will. They have to align to his word, his morals, most of all, his will for your life. And the only way you will know if it aligns with his will is if you have a relationship with him, if you're spending time with him. Once you commit everything to God, once you are solely working for God, that is when you'll work 10 times harder, knowing you will be rewarded for everything that you do. Because God promised if you suffer for righteousness sake, he will pay you back even more. So even if it's working a job you don't like for a season, you will know deep down in your heart that God is going to pay you back with even more in either this life or the life to come. And I know you're probably wondering, like, how, how can I commit my ways into the Lord? How can I glorify God in everything that I do? First thing you need to do is figure out what God wants you to do here on this earth. Figure out what your gifts are and what your passions are and how you can use that to glorify his name. You do this by seeking because God says seeking you'll find, knocking the door will be open. What you also need to do is seek God first because God says seek the kingdom first and all his righteousness and everything else will be added on to you. Meaning your purpose will be added on to you. Meaning money, food, water, you won't have to worry about anything because you're seeking God first and he's going to take care of you. And I know many people probably get confused on what that means. Does it really mean just read the word every single day and pray every single day and everything else will just be added on to me. That's exactly what it means. Meaning you should be in your word every single day, day and night, not worried about anything else except getting to know God more. Especially if you're struggling with certain sins, struggling with certain, hanging around a certain friend group that's causing you to be distracted. Because if you're hanging around people that are bringing you away from your purpose, distracting you from your purpose, then God won't be able to reveal your purpose to you. And also, if you are struggling with certain sins, God can't reveal the things he wants to give to you because you're still stuck in that sin. And it even says this in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then it says, then you will learn to know God's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect. You see, first it said, let God change you into a new person. And then it says after that, he will reveal the things that he has for you. So before you become that new person, before you repent of your sins and give your life to God and God changes your heart, he's not going to reveal anything to you. So your main focus should be becoming a new person in Christ, renewing your mind, renewing your heart. And then once you do that, that's when you can ask God what he wants to do in your life. And that's when you can start making plans and let God guide your steps. Because now that you're a new person, your plans will align with God's will. And you won't make plans to glorify yourself, but you'll make plans to glorify God. And yes, it's on us to make our plans for our life. It even says this in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. It says, we make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Meaning you can write down what you want in your life, but it's on God to guide your steps. And how you want it, it may be different from how God gets you there. Because you always have to remember that it's not our will that needs to be done. It's God's will that needs to be done. So commit your plans on to the Lord. Whether that be basketball, whether that be YouTube, whether that be a business, whether that be a job, commit it on to God. Because God can use anybody no matter what job you have. He can use you at McDonald's, spreading the gospel at McDonald's. He can use you in any job as long as you are willing to put him first. So commit your plans on to God. Start working hard for God and watch. God will start to reveal the things that he has for you and doors will start to open up in your life. So y'all stay blessed.